Hey Big Shot, have you wanted to step away from using those terrible thumbnails that YouTube gives you when you first upload a video? If you don't have any graphic design experience and you're looking to make attractive thumbnails, today I'm gonna to show you how to make attractive thumbnails in Canva 2.0. Welcome to the channel. My name is Daniel. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe below. So let's waste no time and hop into the video so I can show you how you can make an attractive thumbnail using Canva 2.0. In order to get more views on your video, you need to entice people to come watch your video. And the only way you can do that is by making attractive thumbnails. So an example of this is if you go to the movie store and you're picking out a movie, you're probably not gonna pick a movie that has a really bad cover on it because that won't entice you to come see it. It's almost like saying, don't judge a book by its cover. But a lot of people will judge your YouTube video by the cover of its thumbnail. So one of the first things I want to share with you is what not to do when making a thumbnail. Is don't use those terrible thumbnails that YouTube gives you immediately when you upload your video. Another thing to remember is don't use poor quality thumbnails. Don't throw a ton of text on there. Poor quality thumbnails hurt your videos more than you think. Remember to keep your thumbnails as simple as possible. So now let's hop into what you should do when you're making an attractive thumbnail. Another thing constitutes a bad thumbnail is maybe you are making a good enough thumbnail, but it looks like everyone else is. If you're gonna stand out and see a thumbnail, you need to be different. It's almost like being a purple cow in the midst of a bunch of white cows with black spots. When they're searching for something online, when people are going through videos, they're gonna notice your videos stand out compared to all the other videos because you'll have different colors or maybe a different way that you're doing it instead of doing it just like everyone else. And if you've made it with me this far, let me know down in the comments below what else you guys think constitutes a bad thumbnail. Did I miss out on any tips? Please let me know down in the comments below. So keep in mind, this video is more focused on how to make an attractive thumbnail, not a complete overview of Canva. If you'd like a complete overview of Canva, I've already made a video like that on how to use Canva for social media, which I'll link right here. It gives you a complete step-by-step -step process of all the ins and outs of how to use Canva. Okay, Big Shot, so now that I showed you what you shouldn't do, now let me show you what you should do. So let's hop into Canva 2.0 right now, and I'll show you how to make a nice, attractive thumbnail. Okay, so once you're into Canva, all you need to go is go up to the search bar and design anything, and type in thumbnail. You'll see YouTube thumbnail pops up immediately, and so that way it'll give you the proper resolution for your thumbnail, so when you upload it, it'll actually upload correctly into YouTube. So go ahead and click on YouTube thumbnail. So one way you can make an attractive thumbnail is over here on the left side, there's a ton of different thumbnails that you can use that are completely free or there's some paid versions as well. But the nice thing is if you take one of these paid ones, such as this one right here, you'll notice it has this big watermark in the background. If you just get, mostly it's the photos that are the things that are paid for. So if you get rid of that photo, you can use the rest of the elements in the thumbnail. And so you could actually edit this text if you wanted to, but I'm not gonna do this one right now. I'm gonna show you guys basically the process that I go through and what I look for and how to make a nice attractive thumbnail for YouTube. Okay, so let's say I'm trying to make a video on Instagram hacks. So one of the things that I'll look for when I'm making thumbnails is I'll look, how can I do it differently than these top thumbnails right here? But a lot of these, you really can't see what's going on. There's no big text in here that says Instagram hacks. So I might be able to take advantage of that and get some different colors in there that can help me be able to make a nicer thumbnail. So one of the things I'll do is I'll look at the top performing thumbnails and I'll see how can I make my thumbnail different than theirs. So let's go back to Canva and I'll show you how we can do that. So one of the first things I'll do is I'm gonna come over here to photos. So since I'm doing Instagram hacks, I'm probably gonna use this cell phone over here. I'll make it big enough for my background and then I'll bring it right over. Looking at these thumbnails, you'll notice that only this one has a split in it. There's a ton of splits down here, but these ones typically perform pretty good if you can make like a nice eye-catching picture on the side. Next thing I'll do is I'll need, I need to select my background. So I'll go over here to backgrounds. So this top performing thumbnail has lots of Instagram colors, so I'm gonna try to avoid that one. This one has more human skin. Okay, so just looking at all these different colors here, I probably wanna stay away from these colors since they're more related to Instagram. And I'll probably go with this gold color because that looks the best to me. So I've decided on the colors that I want. Now I'm gonna choose the text. So I'm just gonna go over here to text. Instead of using some of these presets, I'm just gonna use one of these headers right here. People are quickly glancing at this, so you have to quickly say your title or say your keyword in there in order for it to actually get clicks. And another tip as well, make sure you're using title fonts or big fonts as well. So for example, for this one, since I'm doing Instagram hacks, I'll just type in Instagram and I'll look for a nice font that I think will go good. That's a nice big title font. I think I'm gonna go with Bettis New. This is a good font. Next thing I'll do is just to make the bottom font, I'll duplicate this. So I'll go over here to copy and I'll bring this one right below and then I'll title this Hacks. In order to make this attractive, I need to be able to put this under it, making it looking like it's hold it, or they can be the same height. Okay, so now that I have Instagram and Hacks right there, it's not looking too bad. It's not that exciting, but it gives you an idea of what you can do. Okay, so looking at this, this isn't too bad right now, but I think we can spice it up a little bit in order to make the text really stand out from all the other things around it. 
So if I go back to these top thumbnails here, another thing that I do is I look for inspiration by looking at these other thumbnails. So as I'm scrolling down, I look and I say, oh, cool. There's this, there's this thumbnail right here. Behind the text, they're putting a shape, like a square. I bet I could do that in mine. So I'll come back to Canva. All right, so I'll come over here all the way to these elements right here. If you notice, there's a section with shapes in it. So I'm gonna use this square right here. This is how I get really cool inspiration of how to make nice thumbnails, is I look at other thumbnails and how they do it. So the way I make my text stand out is I take the shape, I put it completely over it, and then you go up here to position and you put it behind it. And so I think I wanna change the color. And I think I wanna make this text actually white and make the background black. And so that will make them, that'll basically switch the colors and make them stand out really good. And in order to change the color of the text, I'll come up to this A right here, and I'll change it to white right here to the default colors. And then I'll just move it right out of the way really quick so I can grab the shape back here. And then I'll come over here to the top left corner to change the color of this shape. I'll change it to black, and you'll notice that it stands out a lot more in that background. So coming over here to the elements, I'll just click on elements, I'll go over to the search, and I'll type in gradient. So a fun thing you can do is you can just select one of these gradients, put it right here on top of it, and this gives it a little more depth so you can see it a little bit better. And then I'll just hit position and I'll hit backward. So now that it's behind it, and then if I need to get to it, I can always just click on this, go to position, put this backward so I can get to it. I can also flip it if I don't like it where the color's at, and you can change the colors to it if you want to by coming up here. So I could actually change this to more red if I wanted to. And the cool thing here is you can go up to the transparency and it'll actually lower the transparency of it. So I'll select this, put this position, make it go backward. Since I'm doing Instagram hacks, why don't we put a little like, like symbol on here or a heart symbol? So I'll go over here to my uploads. And I got this just off Google Images, so if you want to get your own, you can just go on Google Images and bring a little more life to this picture so it's not so boring. If I just type in Instagram over in Elements, looks like they got one right here. Then I can take this Instagram icon, I can bring it right down here. And it's not looking bad so far. I mean, if I want to actually zoom out and look at it, I can zoom out. It's not looking too bad. It's a little blank on the outsides right there. So I guess one way I could fix that is maybe I could add like some lines right here. So I can come over here to Elements and just type in lines, bring a line in. And I could put a line right over the top of that. This just connects the sides and stuff so it looks a lot prettier. And then I can go to the position and I can put it behind it. Another thing I can do is I can change the colors of this. So I can go over here to the top left corner and I can actually do custom colors by clicking on this plus and I can play around with the different colors in here. And then you can copy this. I'm going to fill up the top a little bit, so maybe I'll actually put another Instagram symbol up there. Copy that on my picture, go over here in the top left corner, I can go to adjust, and I can actually add a nice dark, make the background a little bit darker if I want to on the side. I want to see if my thumbnail compares to others, is you can export it and then put it right next to the thumbnails to see if it actually sticks out. So let's add my little thumbnail, I can just compare it to the other ones to see how it looks. Doesn't look too bad right now, I like it. Now you know how to make attractive YouTube thumbnails in Canva, but you can't do this if you don't know how to properly optimize your videos. So I've linked down in the description below my free guide to optimizing your videos for success on YouTube. If you've made it this far, please comment down below, made it, so I know that you've stuck with me till the end. And be sure to get that free guide that I have linked in the description below so you know how to properly optimize your YouTube videos. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.